picture this. It's 1969 in South Central Los Angeles, Compton Watts area. My last semester of high school, just before graduation. The high school counselor met with every student and their parent to talk to them about their college future. It was my turn for my mother and I to talk to the counselor. In the meeting, he told me that I needed to learn how to do something with my hands because I would never make it in corporate America. <laughs> this was quite upsetting to the both my mother and I. And when we left his office, I cried. When I got home, I went to my room and I cried again. My mother came to talk to me. She told me never to let other people determine your future. I wish my parents were here today to see what I've become. They would be so proud of this moment. I promised myself that I wouldn't cry but that's really hard because becoming a Disney legend is something I never thought would happen to me. When Josh DeMuro called to give me the news, I was speechless. And anybody that knows me knows I am never speechless. Okay? <laughs> then when he told me that I would receive a letter from Bob Iger, I said, oh my God, it's still my heart. <laughs> For many years, my job was to produce merchandise-related special events, but I didn't do it alone. It took a team of cast members that I partnered with, and our goal was to make the event an unforgettable experience for our guests to enjoy. Doing these events, I worked with many of the Disney legends, and after getting to know them and realizing how important it was and what an honor it was to become a legend. I want to thank many of the people for their help and support, and most importantly, for believing in me. To my leaders, Clark Jones, Chris Shepard, Tony Garrison, Mary Wood, Ed Storm, and Mary Ann Sharp. To my girls, my team, Michelle Harker, Elaine Seacott, Kathy Jensen, and Sonia Martin. To my partners, Linda Bota, Al Nasser, Chris Kane, Nadi Aon, Terry Campanelli, Richard Stoner, Suzanne Haller, and Krista Johnson. Plus, I want to thank Becky Klein, Michael Bargo, Wendy Lefton, and my brother from another mother, my co-author, Tim O'Day, for adding a little extra special layer of Disney magic to my retirement. There are so many more wonderful partners that I don't have the time to name individually, but I sincerely thank every one of them. You know who you are. I also, also want to give a special thanks to my family, especially to my twin sister, Mary. <laughs> many of you know my twin sister. <laughs> I would always talk to her about my job to the point where she thought that she worked at Disneyland too. <laughs> and if you ask her, she would say, I do work there, okay? So after 50 years of working, I decided to retire. I told my sister, and the first thing she said was, are we going to have our retirement at Disneyland? <laughs> when I got the news about becoming a legend, I shared it with my sister with joy in her voice tears in her eyes. She said, are we legends now? <laughs> Bottom line is this. I'm just an ordinary black girl from South Central Los Angeles 